A congressional committee looks at the tactics used in a controversial bear poaching operation. A hunter acquitted of charges in Operation Something Bruin today testified along with defense attorneys and wildlife officials at a hearing in Waynesville. News 13's John Ostendorf was there. John, one congressman said he's having a hard time getting answers about exactly what happened. That's right, Congressman Mark Meadows blasted federal wildlife officials for failing to provide information about the operation. He says all he's received are letters saying cases are still under investigation. How can I get two letters with the exact same wording except for one sentence, one day apart? How can I do that if there's not a coordinated effort to make sure we didn't get information? But some new information did come from the hearing, the best look yet at the price tag, about $100,000 for the five-year operation. Charges were dismissed in state court against many of the defendants. Charles Anthony Smith is one of those. And uh, the conduct of the officers at my house was outrageous. His nine-year-old daughter had to sit on the couch while agents armed with assault rifles searched his home and questioned him outside in a police car. He was completely cleared of the charges, all misdemeanors. Law enforcement leaders say they've investigated the allegations of heavy-handed tactics, and they aren't true. Our officers took the utmost care of any occupant in those dwellings uh, whatsoever. And then the other thing in following those step-by-step uh, -step procedures is also for any individual officer safety as well as the team of officers there in safety um, and, and protection of them as well. Now, Congressman Meadows says he'll continue to ask questions about this operation. In Waynesville, John Ostendorf, News 13.